Hey guys, I'm Alphons. Welcome to the 23rd episode of Anybody Can Code C programming series. If you'd like to take a look at the previous episodes, please use the link in the description. In today's episode, we'll be looking at some of the programs related to strings. Let's look at our first program. A first program here is to find the substring in the given string. So first, let's look at the logic behind this problem. So here, say we are given a string, imagine, and we are asked to find a substring within this string. So some of the possible substrings could be, imagine, I am A G G I N E N E A G I and G I N. So the substring should be a continuous uh, sequence of characters and it should not be discontinuous. So how do we code this? So first we need to once the substring is given so say I'm going to uh, choose a substring here as G I N E and I want to see if this substring is present within the given string. So what would I do? First I would start from the beginning and traverse the entire string till the end to see if the substring is present. So I would start from i and I would go all the way till e. So we can see that this is not the substring that we are interested in finding. Next I would start from m and I would traverse till the end and again it's not the substring that we want. So but when we start from G we and when we end, end at E we can see that this is the substring that we are interested in and we are uh, and hence we have found a substring here. Let's look at the program to see how this is done. So first let's receive the two the string and the substring from the user. I'm defining two strings. So let's go ahead and get the input from the user. Enter the string. And next, we'll get the substring. So now we have got the input from the user. Now it's time to write a logic. Let's write a for loop to traverse th through the string. So we are running this for loop till it reaches the end. So the condition would be str of i not equal to the null character. So inside we would have to have another for loop to check if the substring is present or not. So now we have written our two for loops. So, and if you notice that, let's go back to the Excel sheet. If you notice that in the first iteration, we would start uh, checking the values from the index value zero. And from the second iteration, we would start our uh, checking from the index value one and two and so on for the uh, upcoming iterations. So we would have to have a variable called start that has that holds the value of i and we have to increment the uh, start variable 
each time. Now we have done that. Next, it's time to check for the characters. If each character is, if there is a match between the characters, then we need to increment the count variable. Let's go ahead and do that. So if str of start is equal to substring of j, then if the characters match, then increment the count. So now we have done with the logic. So the missing piece here is that this count should be should match with the length of the substring. So we need to find the length of the substring as well. For that we need to use the string length function. In order to use the inbuilt functions we need to include the header file string.h. So and I'm declaring a variable length to hold this value star len of substring. So once this is done, so what I'm saying is if count equal to length, then we have a substring. So printf the substring is present in the given string and we don't don't have to like in traverse through the string again we can just break out of it so I'm using the keyword break to break out of this loop and if not if the given string is not present then I would have to print the message the given substring is not present it's not present so I can have a flag a flag variable here which I'm initializing it to the value 1 and if the substring is present I'm assigning the value 0 to flag and in the if condition here I'll give it as if flag equal to 1 then print this message because if the substring is not present it will not enter into this count equal to n block and the flag value will not change from 1 to 0. So now this is the log program to find the substring in the given string. Now let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm giving the string as imagine and enter the substring. I'm giving it as gin. Okay, I think I would have made a mistake. Okay, I have to initialize the value of count to zero. Otherwise, the value in count will be a garbage value. So now let's go ahead and run this program. So I'm giving it as imagine again. And the same gin. You can see it is displaying the message that the substring is present in the given string. Let's go ahead and run the program again. Let's give a different string say I'm giving it a string itself and I'm saying SRT. So it's displaying the message saying that the given substring is not present. So this is the program to find the substring in the given string. Now let's look at a second program. A second program we are asked to write a function that converts a given string to uppercase. So let's go ahead and get the string from the user. Now 
now let's go ahead and write our function so this function will not be returning any value hence it's the return type is void and i'm calling this function as upper which would be receiving a string so in order to convert a lower case to an upper case we need to use the concept of ascii values here so the ascii value of a small that is a lower case a is 97 and the ascii value of an upper case a is 65 and the dif difference between both are 32 hence we would have to minus the lower case values by a factor of 32 so let's use a for loop to do this so i'll be making use of the string length function here so i'll be printing the values here so str of i denotes the lower case values and minus 32 will display it in an upper case value let's write our include our header file string dot h here let's just print the message saying the the given string in upper case is and let's call the function upper of now let's go ahead and run this program so i'm entering the string as imagine and you can see that the given string is being a uh, converted to upper case imagine so this is how you write a function to convert a string into upper case with this we come to the end of this episode in the next episode we'll be looking at structures and unions in c programming so stay tuned hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe